Hey, what's up? My name is Kabir Singh. I'm a voice actor, poet, and philosopher from Los Angeles, California. One of my favorite types of deliveries of a voiceover script or when I'm reading some sort of copy is the poetic read. Now, the poetic read, it's a very special type of read, but I think everyone has a little bit of poeticness in them. And how to, how to articulate it using your voice can be a fun little experiment. And for me, the poetic read is my specific cadence. And a lot of people do different poetries in different ways. You know, you have the beat poets that that really punch their words and they hit them really like this. They go high and down. And that's one style. But there's other types of poets, too. I mean, if you look at the early writings of any any really good rapper, whether it be Tupac or Nas or one of these really good rappers that used to write poetry, their book of rhymes, ah, oh, the poetry was it was subtle and it, the cadence was the, uh, different than what you expected poetry to be. For me, my poetic style it involves a different style of poetry. I like to rhyme all my words, but. When you're dealing with a voiceover copy that doesn't have words that rhyme, how do you bring that poetic spirit out? And that could be a fun experiment you can do. So if you're on a microphone and you have a certain copy. Now, the feeling wise, you can look at certain words and and tie an emotion to it. Let's call it a poetic emotion, whether it's deep love or some sort of deep sorrow. You can have these poetic emotions and find ways as an actor to, to feel them. But... Technically speaking, also, when you're doing like a a voiceover project that is looking for an inspired poetic read, it just takes a little bit of massaging that pace, that rhythm, learning which words you would like to punch and which words you would like to just run by. And that'll help you find your cadence. And this is just purely for you're not going to do this. These types of reads too much for commercial commercials. They're very specific reads for like churches and inspiring that are looking for inspired, ins, inspiring their congregation or um, and, and the poetic read. When you're looking for the poet inside of you. You don't have to rhyme the words. It's not about finding poetry that rhymes. A poet is the one who can understand suffering. One who can understand life, one who can understand uh, love, and one who can understand, or at least hope to understand, these different human emotions, and then communicate them in a verbal beat, in a verbal pattern. And then you're going to learn to find your own beat, and a little bit of music knowledge or a little bit of rhythm can help, but they're all tools out there that you can learn to find your inner poet. So when you're doing any type of voiceover copy that requires you to read in a poetic nature, Work with the cadence, work with your volume, play around with the highs and the lows, the peaks and the valleys. And and that and, and a poetic read, look at references of great poets, you know, even even stuff from uh, Emerson, Shakespeare. These are all great poets. So I hope that was helpful. A little bit inside the poetic read. Again, my name is Kabir Singh, voice actor, poet and philosopher. You can find out my work at Kabir's voice dot com.